Okay, so uh, backstage, before the David Jones Autumn Winter 2010 show with Miranda Kerr, we had a chat to you six months ago. That's right. Tell me about, uh, well, actually, let's first start, which is a question I'm sure you've been asking a million times. What's the deal with the banker? I mean, are you I'm tired of these questions? The poor banker. I mean, I'm glad he got his job. I mean, he kept his job. And um, I just felt very sorry for him because, obviously, someone had sent him an email and he'd opened the email and um, he just got caught red-handed. <laughs> but in my opinion, the photos are classic and beautiful and elegant. So... Uh, it was funny, and uh, that's about it. And you, but what, didn't you sort of get involved in some petition or something? Oh, I said I was willing to sign the petition to save Dave, but then I found out that Dave was already, you know, he didn't lose his job, so. so this is what happens when you do Victoria's Secret. Yes. And Pirelli. That's right. So you have to take these things on board. So tell me about uh, this No, I just thought it was funny. I just had a chuckle about it. I wasn't worried about it at all. I was just concerned for him. Didn't want him to lose his job. I think he's become a bit of a legend, hasn't he? Yeah, maybe amongst his friends. Uh, so, so you shot this campaign in New Zealand? Yes, David Jones, Autumn Winter, 2010. Shot in New Zealand. Absolutely freezing cold when we were shooting. We got a helicopter up to some of the um, highest mountains and we were shooting on some ice and, you know, where, there's, um, where it was all there and it was windy and minus nine degrees Celsius and I was in these all dressed. So we had whole and lots of blankets to rug up with after every shot. So it was good. Freezing. But it is a winter collection. It is a winter collection. So it made sense. <laughs> Definitely. I, I think there was some speculation because Tyra Banks was there at the same time shooting um shooting some sequences for America's Next Top Model. I think there was some speculation that you might have been involved in that, a guest judge or something. Oh, yeah. There was talk about that, but unfortunately, I actually didn't have the time. We were working such long hours, um, some days starting as early as 3 a.m. to get to the location in time and then get the helicopter and then make it while the sun was coming up. So it was quite a full-on shoot. Um, and we managed to get it all done. So and it's, it's a beautiful country, isn't it? Oh, New Zealand is one of my favourite countries. And I just think that the the countryside itself is so diverse and picturesque. And I thought it was just the perfect backdrop for the winter collection. Right, fantastic. So tell me about what we're going to see in the show, which is happening in about two hours' time. The show will be happening in about two hours' time, yes. So this season, it's all about... Investing in some key pieces, like a nice, um, for me, that's a great jacket, a pair of ankle boots, um, a great pair of jeans that will just tide you through the whole winter. And also this season, a lot of colour is popping through. So it's not just about your black and greys and light colours. It's also about infusing some oranges. Um, also, we've got some bright reds coming through, some greens. Um, and that as well, I think, is quite inspiring for the winter months. And you've got a Saturn Bide finale. And Saturn Bide finale, which is absolutely divine. I um, think the Saturn Bide girls are great. They um, uh, are such, you know, individual. Uh, they really um, are about embracing women as the free spirits that they themselves are and um, encouraging that within women, which I think is amazing. So if you're talking about, I mean, runways and fashion shows, and um, I mean, obviously, you did Ever Jones, you did Victoria's Secret, and last October, you did Balenciaga. Yes. Tell me about that. What was that like? Well, Balenciaga is one of my favourite brands, and I was just really stoked to be doing their runway show. Um, it was a very different feel to Victoria's Secret and a different feel to um, even David Jones, because when I'm at home in Australia with David Jones, for me, it's important to interact with the audience. Um, but for Balenciaga, it's important just to, you know, just to be straight-faced and not so much expression or no interaction at all, which is great because that's the two different sides of things. Um, I absolutely loved what I was wearing. It was, and it fit, it fit perfect. So, yeah, it was really exciting. I was in Paris and they did and they really spoiled me, so it was great. 
I hear there's a chance that you might be heading back to do the next Balenciaga show. Well, we'll have to wait and see. On March 3rd. <laughs> you can't confirm that? I'm sorry, I can't say anything just yet, but... Um, You're not denying it, though, are you? No, I'm not denying anything. <laughs> might we see you in... Are you going to... I mean, are you... Might, so you might be going back to the shows in Paris and Milan? Possibly. Possibly. We'll see. Which is not that very far away, is it's it? It's not that far away, so you'll have to wait and see. But I wish I could tell you, but I can't tell you. Okay, so what, what else have you got coming up that we can talk about? Um, well, obviously my new skincare range, Cora, which I just launched, which is an all-organic um, range, which I've been developing with um, a cosmetic pharmacist in Melbourne for the last um, three and a half, four years. And it's really something that I'm just so proud of because I've put my heart and soul into these products and the quality that we've established with these products um, is incredible. Uh, they're just they're just everything I expected and more. And everything I've been involved in every step of the way from, you know, talking with the pharmacist about look, I'm passionate about Noni and I want to create a product that incorporates Noni into it. Because Noni for me I found to be extremely rejuvenating. Um, internally and externally. I used to put it on my face to sunburn or put it on my spots. Like if I had any blemishes, I'd put the pure noni juice on my face. So it made sense for me to actually create a line myself. Um, and that's what I've done and I've put the noni in there. So having that, and then we've also got rosehip oil, um, which contains all the fatty acids. So it's, the range is full of antioxidants. It's all organic and um, it's basically food for the skin. So it's really, really exciting and something that I'm really passionate about. The name comes from, I mean, the name is Cora with a K um, because it, uh, it's about, for me, Cora is about looking after, you know, your core self and it really is a reflection of me and the way I live my life and yeah, it's exciting. And I also, like I've always said, um, it's always really important to, when you have the choice, to make the right decisions of what you put into your body. And um, also, it's not about being perfect or anything like that. Like, I eat 80% healthy, 20% indulgent, like having fun and enjoying yourself. Um, but at the end of the day, like, if I have a choice, I would prefer to put organic products in my body, like internally, drinking or eating organic products, um, same with on my skin, because I've been told by the pharmacist that the skin absorbs a minimum of 60% of what you put on it. So it's really important that we are filling it with nutrients. So, I mean, this has been launched here at David Jones. Are we like to see it, I mean, go, go head overseas? For now, David Jones um, has it exclusively, and you know, we'll we'll see what happens from there. But it's also sold on the internet at um, coraskincare.com.au. Presumably, her had some bites from had Lots of um, we've been had had lots of sales from overseas to all over the world. So it's really interesting when you actually look at the database of people that are buying it. Lots of people from England, um, people from Japan. People from America have been buying it just on the internet and um, David Jones' sales are going really well. And people have been writing in testimonials saying like, I can't believe how incredible this product is. Um, people that have had like rosacea on their face that is like actually cleared up from using the rosehip oil because they have organic um, rosehip oil and it's of the highest quality. So the, the healing benefits have, have been reported to be incredible. Um, people with eczema on their hands, you know. So it's great getting those testimonials and feedback. Right, well, finally, where are you kind of steering your career at the moment? I mean, obviously you've got you've got all these great contracts, mm -hmm. um, you know, which have, have been fantastic. I mean, you know, you sort of continue to power, power ahead with Victoria's Secret, which is, you know, a huge company. I mean, you certainly seem to be like the Balenciaga show and, and possibly another one. Um, you sort of seem to be trying, or, I mean, where are you? sort of trying to sort of head at the moment? Well, you know, as I've always been from day one, I've really just embraced 
where I am and really just go on with the flow wherever it is that I'm going. Of course, I have my goals. Like, I had my goal to do the skincare line. I had my goal to finish my book, which I actually just finished writing two weeks ago. Now it's at the publishers. It's set to be released in August. So I have those sorts of goals. When it comes to modeling, yes, you know, doing the Lenciaga show was something I had always wanted to do, but I wasn't sure if that would happen or not. And they approached me, so I was extremely excited and happy about that. Um, I'm... What else is there? The Russian Vogue just came out, and also ID Magazine is coming out, Love Magazine came out. Um, and we have a few more exciting projects coming out. Oh, really? Well, I mean, the, obviously the skincare line has sort of put you in sort of, I mean, I mean, you know, obviously when you're a model, I mean, you know, a successful model, you're already a businesswoman. But I mean, mm -hmm. um, you know, la launching sort of merchandise, which you're doing now with the, the skincare line, I mean, might we see you in other areas as well? Or? Yeah, potentially. I mean, at the moment, we're in the process of developing even more products for Cora, um, which is probably coming out with a lip balm and also blemish treatment as well. Okay, look, getting back to the beginning, sort of the full circle before I wrap up, um, to the banker, and could I just ask you, because um, I'm working at Today Tonight at the moment, where I worked about 10 years ago, I'm oh, not sure. Okay. Um, and we had an interview last night with um, Abby Lee Kershaw, and she was asked her about the sort of the nudity. Can I just ask you, there's a lot of nudity in fashion at the moment, isn't there? I mean, you know, fashion magazines as opposed to kind of men's magazines. But, mm -hmm. I mean, what's your sort of take on that? And, I mean, I mean, I mean and, yeah, what, what's your position on, on the fact that, I mean, well, fashion magazines are asking? My opinion about that is that as long as it's classy and elegant, then I believe that it sends a positive message because women, I believe, should embrace every aspect of themselves. And nobody is perfect. And everybody has their flaws. And... I think that it's a beautiful thing to celebrate the body and not be afraid of it. But, I mean, you know, some people are a bit, I don't know, a bit concerned that it's sort of getting a little bit <laughs> sexualized, especially with people like Terry Richardson, who I know that you obviously worked with the Pirelli calendar. But does yeah. that bother you? Well, no, because the classes I, the photos I did with um, Terry were classy. They weren't tacky. I mean, there's a line between doing a beautiful nude or doing something that's a little bit more suggestive and I, I think that um, what I've done I'm, I'm proud of and I also I'm happy to try and encourage you know women to embrace their bodies and not be afraid of it. And do you I mean with, with the bank do you get a lot of fan you must get a huge amount of fan mail from bankers all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows I haven't checked that um, I haven't checked the mailbox lately. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Well, look, best of luck with the show and with the skincare line and possibly see you on the Balenciaga runway on March 3rd. Happy Wednesday.